A very common question is, of course, how far can you get with the boat? You can go all the way to another country, actually. Today we're trying to break a new world record. We're going to go from Stockholm to Marihamn, Åland. Uh, it's roughly 75 nautical miles one way. And we're going to go there and back with an electric boat in one day with the consisting infrastructure in terms of charging. So, fun fact, we had to stop and refuel our gasoline chase boat. The Candela has continued, but we had to fill it up with gas because it uses two liters per nautical mile. We only have 80 liters here. We need, we need more. We're at the Kapellskär. We traveled roughly 45 nautical miles from Stockholm and uh, we're now charging at 40 kilowatts uh, DC here in uh, Kapellskär, preparing to uh, go over the ocean to Åland. So we're using a Chem Power charger, a DC charger that we borrowed from Chem Power. Thank you very much for that. It's using the existing dock infrastructure. It's a 63 amp cabinet here and this will take us roughly one hour, 20 minutes to charge the boat. So one of the most common questions we get is, uh, where do you charge the boat? There's actually a lot of charging infrastructure in many places because most harbors have a three-phase outlet. So you can charge your boat at 11 kilowatts at least, enough to replenish the battery in a few hours. You can use the boat pretty much as any other regular gasoline boat. There's always somewhere to plug it in. Candela C8 Polestar Powered has a range of 57 nautical miles at 22 knots. That's two to three times longer range than any other electric power boat on the market. And it's due to the hydrofoils that lift up the hull above the surface, thereby reducing energy consumption. We arrived safely here in Mariahamn, Åland after about one hour, 20 minutes uh, across the sea. And we arrived with 25% uh, left of the battery. And now we're gonna stay here and uh, charge and uh, meet some people for a few hours and then head back to Stockholm. Right now we're in Mariham and here we're charging from a 16 amp three-phase outlet, which means that we charge at around 11 kilowatts. But the boat has a potential to charge plus 130 kilowatts, which means that we could have a charging time from 10 to 80 percent in roughly 30 minutes. And with this connection we have right now, if we would fully charge the battery from, from zero, it's around seven hours of charging time. Now we charge to 90 percent here in uh, Mariham and we're gonna go back to Kapellskär. It's uh, 36 nautical miles and will take us around one and a half hour. Today we showed that it's possible to go really far with an electric boat. And this boat, the C8, we use this as a development platform to be able to continue our development into our bigger fares like the P12. We see a really bright future for our public transport sector and we think that electric boats will be a big part of the transportation in the future. So the trip over from Mariham to Kapellskär was very, very smooth. And now we're back here with 10% uh, talk and it's time to charge up for our final leg down to Friamme. When we're summing up the costs for this trip, we used around 230 kilowatt hours of electricity, which amounts to 40, 50 euros on the open spot market. Now the gasoline boat has used approximately fuel for 750 euros. So that's quite a large difference. 50 euros or 750 euros. That's the difference between a foiling electric boat and a gasoline boat. We're back in Stockholm, uh, we've docked the boats and uh, we made it all the way to Åland and back. So it's the world's first electric boat journey from Stockholm to Åland. We stopped and charged three times during the day. We stopped two times at Kapellskär and obviously in Bariham and that was it. We actually had to refuel the chase boat six times during this trip. So can you go far in an electric boat? Yes, you can.